Wow. Back in studio with the two-time champ, Brian McFadden, to break this one down. What is the issue with this Jaguars offense? There was a, a span yeah. from fourth quarter of week one to third quarter of this game, 98 minutes without an offensive touchdown. What are you seeing out of Jacksonville? What are you not seeing more Trevor Lawrence is looking like a rookie which is surprising to say based on how well he performed last year under Doug Peterson. Secondly, Travis Etienne in the running game has been missing. They have to find a way to establish a sense of balance. And therefore, if that happens, I think we would see a better, much better play from Trevor Lawrence. And their skill position guys are not creating separation. When you talk about adding a guy like Calvin Ridley, who we all know is a number, a wide receiver one, you know, uh, uh, Christian Kirk, he didn't have Zay Jones today, but they have more than enough talent at the pass catching positions for them not to be successful in throwing the football. And defensively, they're not putting pressure on opposing quarterbacks. That was an issue for them a year ago, we really thought they would be uh, much improved in regards to that side of things with their defensive effort, but we haven't seen that. And lastly for me, mm -hmm. it's something about the Houston Texans. They love the cooking in Duval County. <laughs> it doesn't matter what is going on with their team. When they travel to Jacksonville to the 904, they love that stadium. They love the plane. They love the food. They love the water because they always take care of business against the Jacksonville Jaguars in Duval County. I certainly think the Texans and their fans love the play of their quarterback in this one too. Best yes. we've seen of C.J. Stroud. Two weeks. Now remember, they lost to the Correct. Colts, but he played pretty well against the Colts and a loss. That's exactly where I was yep. going. Where do you see the improvement and the confidence growing here for this young quarterback who physically mm. seems to have all the tools you want in a quarterback? That's the most important thing in regards to the improvements, mm -hmm. playing with confidence. He doesn't seem to be rattled. He's commanding the pocket. He's commanding the huddle. And he's taking what the defenses are giving him. And I understand they lost last week but what I saw from CJ was a guy that found his rhythm and he was having fun and he was able to transition that in today's matchup against another NFC, AFC South opponent in the Jacksonville Jaguars and he was able to put forth the same effort that we saw last week but the most important difference was a win. His first official win in the National Football League. The same can be said for rookie head coach D'Amico Ryan, mm -hmm. Ryan's and his staff. They did a, they had a phenomenal game plan and they executed from start to finish. Great point there about Ryan's and the first win there yep. as a coaching staff and really the confidence that emboldens across an entire Re roster. Is it time to hit the panic button for Jacksonville and Trevor Lawrence? That's is it time? That is a question for one Pete Prisco. Pete, we'll talk to you soon.